Let's determine which, if any, number in this set is a solution to this given equation. So how do we do that? Well, we'll replace n by 0, see if a true statement occurs. Then we'll replace n with 10, see if a true statement occurs. Then we'll replace n with 20 and see if a true statement occurs. So let's start with 0. Instead of n, I'll write 0 plus 20. Is that equal to 4 times, we are replacing n with 0, minus 10? Well, let's see. What is 0 plus 20? That is 20. Is that equal to? 4 times 0 is 0 minus 10. So we have 20. Is that equal to 0 minus 10? Well, it certainly is not. So we know that 0 is not a solution. Let's try our next number, 10. So everywhere there's an n, I'll replace n with 10. Is that equal to 4 times, this time we're replacing by 10. And let's see, 10 plus 20 is 30. Is that equal to 4 times 10 is 40 minus 10? I have 30 equal to 30. That is certainly a true statement. What does that mean so far? That means that 10 is a solution to our equation. Now let's go ahead and try 20. And let's see. All right, let's let n be 20. So I have 20 plus 20. Is that equal to 4 times n is 20 minus 10? 20 plus 20 is 40. Is that equal to 4 times 20 is 80 minus 10? So is 40 equal to 70? No, that is not a true statement. 20 is not a solution. Our only solution then is 10. 10 is a solution of this equation.